So the Quran was revealed over the course of 23 years. And this is something that some of the deniers of faith at the time tried to uh, point out as something that would have indicated that the Quran was not an authentic communication or revelation from the Creator. Um, but something that the Quran, that Allah responds to in the Quran very forcefully, um, in that, well, we did this as a mercy for you, right? This is done completely as a mercy to be sent down over the course of 23 years. Um, and so you don't bite the hand that feeds you, you know, like if, if, if the creator wanted to, he could have just sent it down all at once and then that would have been it. And then you would have had to, you would not have had a second chance to accept it, right? It would have been like, instead of having little quizzes every week or every two weeks and then, you know, you would have had just one final exam and all your grade is in that exam. If you accept it, then you're good. And if you deny it, then woof, you're done for. Right, so that's one of the aspects of mercy of the Quran being revealed over 23 years is that it gave people time to digest it and accept it. Uh, and you have people uh, that accepted it right away, recognized it as the truth. And the, then you had people who fought against it and did not want to recognize it until, you know, and people who became Muslim or accepted Islam is the truth or admitted that Islam was the truth throughout that entire 23 years. Um, so that's one of the, the reasons that it was sent down over 23 years. Another was that it, it's a much more dynamic revelation than one that's just given in one shot because things that are given in kind of one shot limited to just one instant in time, um, it's going to respond to certain contingencies or certain situations and circumstances. Um, and then after that, other circumstances are going to happen. And then that's up to interpretation. Okay, well, how do we take the original text and now interpret new events um, and, and circumstances in light of the sort of the old revelation? Um, and so the fact that the Quran was sent down over 23 years made it a much more dynamic revelation and a much more dynamic text. It is the revelation itself is interacting with new things as they're coming up. And so when the Muslims faced different circumstances and different situations, Allah was sending specifically tailored guidance for those different situations, right? When they were in Mecca, they were an oppressed minority, a persecuted minority. They had no ability to defend themselves or fight. And so there's lots of um, encouragement and, you know, talk of being patient and you know, focusing on the afterlife and things like that. And then there came a point over a decade later where um, they were strong enough and they had the means and they were able to. And so the creator told them that, okay, now's the time to defend yourself and here's how to do it. And here's what a just war looks like. And here's what an unjust war looks like and etc. cetera. So, um, and it's also a mercy for the, for the faithful because, you know, um, People need to be, there's this concept in Arabic at the Darruj, it's like uh, step by step. You know, you have to go slow with people. You can't just throw everything at people at once. And that's what I try to tell people when they're dealing with converts. Don't just throw everything at them at once. Allah himself dealt with the first generation of Muslims over a span of 23 years. He didn't give them everything, throw everything at them at once. And there's a statement of Aisha that summarizes this so well. This is Aisha, one of the best women. We know she's in paradise. And she said that if the first thing that the creator had revealed was the prohibition of alcohol or the prohibition of fornication, then we would not have accepted the, tr the, the truth. We would not have accepted the Quran or accepted Islam. And, that, and that's a very frank admission from Aisha. And that goes to show you that um, people need time. People need time. Uh, is the creator just going to send down a bunch of rules and expect you to follow it without first establishing who is the creator first, why you should believe, um, you know, sort of addressing your doubts and then making you understand the motivation for listening to the guidance that's going to come so that when the rules come, you're like, yes, of course, I'll do this. Or yes, of course, I'll stay away from this because you've already been prepped. You've all, had all that background work. And so over the course of 23 years, that's what Allah was able to achieve with the Qur'an. 
um, and other sorts of texts or previous revelations that were had a much shorter time span, you know, not so much.